At the moment, I'm giving away a full face of makeup. If you'd like to see how to enter this giveaway, please stay tuned till the end of the video for details. So this makeup look is weird. It's trippy and it's a double feature, sort of double take, am I seeing correctly type of makeup. I was inspired by the amazing Jiro and he is amazing indeed. I consider him probably the best makeup artist in terms of transformations that he does. Link in the description box below. So let's go right ahead and create the beauty look that will precede this weirdness. So starting with my Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation, I'm applying that all over my face and then I'm just doing my eyebrows as I always do using my concrete eyeshadow and then drawing on a few hairs with my gel liner. The point of this is to not interfere with my natural features way too much. So I just want to accentuate my face, not do anything too dramatic, not a cat eye, not a very strong lip, basically nothing that will make my features appear much more clownish or exaggerated or cartoony than I'm already going to draw them on. Right after this, I'm just taking my concrete eyeshadow and just accentuating the edges of my eye, top lash line, bottom lash line, and then with a little bit of bronzer, I'm just deepening up the socket line just a tad. And then with my MAC NC15 and W20 pencil, which is a peach toned pencil, I'm taking this all the way inside the waterline just to make it brighter and I'm curling my lashes and just coating them with a simple coat of NYX mascara. Pretty straightforward, pretty wearable, pretty basic, nothing too complicated so far. So by the way, this is a legit beauty look if you wanted to use it for an occasion of sorts. And then I'm going in with my light peach corrector which I'm going to be using as highlighter underneath my eyebrows just to make them appear slightly sharper. And also I'm taking it as a concealer slash highlighter slash corrector underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on the top of the cupid's bow, on the chin, and I'm working it into the onto the face with my fingers and then going over it with my foundation brush. Next, I'm just picking up any brown from my Highlight and Contour Pro palette by NYX and I'm starting to contour my cheeks very very lightly because I don't really want to hollow them out anymore and I'm using my cream blush by MAC which is the one I use day to day actually. So you know, pretty simple. If you're going to replicate your features on a different part of your face, better keep it real. And I'm also lining my lips with the Kylie Jenner Candy K lip pencil. This did come in the kit. I'm not sure if it's sold separately. I'm just lining my whole entire lip with this and also overlining as I like to do. Just defining this line even better with concealer and that is it for the first look which is the beauty look. And now let's go and attempt to create an optical illusion of sorts. So with whatever gel liner is left on my eyeliner brush, I'm just plotting out my own face shape the way I see it in the mirror which is three quarters. So with a grey eyeshadow I'm just shading this basically. So I'm just following the shape that I've already plotted out and right after this I'm going to start creating a few shadows that are again mirroring my hairline and my little baby hairs that I've got up there and the horizontal lines stand for movement. I guess that's how I interpreted it. With the same lip pencil and also with a black eye pencil and with a brown eye pencil which is my Stone by MAC which is very grey toned so very neutral. I'm going to try and replicate my lip shape. I don't think I did a great job. It's very it's a very challenging and difficult look to do and I thought it was going to be much, much easier and I see all of these people doing it and I always have something to correct but I couldn't imagine how difficult this was. For the highlighty bits, so wherever I need to add a little bit of shine or make something appear slightly raised, I'm using my flesh toned pencil that I used before for the inside of my eyes. So this is what is highlighting the cupid's bow that I'm drawing on and what is shading. The rest is just my brown eyeshadow, the same one that I used on my eyebrows, interchanging it with some grey and some brown. Replicating my nose and the nostrils, obviously the darkest you want it to go, the more black you're gonna go. So you're just gonna use black lip pencil for the nostril itself, just because it's black and deep and there's darkness in the nostril, usually. Moving on from that dark, dark place, I'm just applying some highlighting and shading action on what is supposed to be the bridge of the nose or the remnants of it because supposedly the trippiness of this look is just taking the nose away gradually which 
doesn't look as freaky as it sounds or maybe it does so faded nostrils right after this as the lips are as well so I think in my mind the first pair has to be as realistic as possible and then it starts fading and being a little bit more liberal in the sense that we don't have to draw it on exactly and then it's time for the eyes oh the eyes so I just tried to draw really round brown eyes like I consider my own eyes to be and the one that's sitting on top of the nose is looking a little bit wobbly I feel just because it's resting right on top of the bridge of my nose so it gets a shine which shouldn't be there also if you're more comfortable with body painting colors or face painting colors instead of regular pencils and eyeliners like I'm using then by all means please do use that a little bit of pinkness because my eyes are always red how do you like that touch realism there and I'm also replicating my own eyebrow which again I see as quite dark and arched so this is exactly what I'm doing with my eyeshadow that I use for my eyebrows and the pencil I'm also drawing another eye next to my other eye so I've lost count of how many eyes I've got on my face at this moment a little bit of shading so this is supposed to be a little more to the side I feel I don't even know I'm confused so I'm drawing another pretty round pretty open brown eye with just very simple definition just like my own eyes look because of the simple beauty makeup that I did so it's all tying in together the white eyeliner I feel really gives that extra touch of realism and the rest of the eyes are also fading towards the temple putting on just one more eyebrow slightly faded and a little bit of shading just for that swept away kind of blurred lens look and that is it for the finished result thank you for putting up with my constant self-doubt and thank you for watching if you try this make sure to show me rock on so I reached my 30,000 subscriber mark and I couldn't thank you guys enough. I chose to put together 11 makeup and hair items to thank you with this international giveaway. So what that comprises is a palette by NYX which is full of lovely autumn colors, two off black eye pencils, two off white eye pencils just to intensify that waterline in different ways, also a khaki golden liquid waterproof eyeliner, a face powder if it's too dark for you you could use it for contour and illuminating blush in this fun orangey color you could even apply this as a highlighter if you've got a deeper complexion a lip primer and finally a copper metallic lip cream which is just lush and as a fun touch I thought I would throw in a mint colored hairspray which washes off in the shower so the giveaway is open internationally and it closes on midnight on the 25th of August it is running on my Facebook page so in order to be eligible to win these items you have to be a subscriber of my channel like my Facebook page and also post a comment on this picture which will be pinned at the top of my page saying what your favorite makeup look is and also feel free to tag your friends so you can up your odds or give them a chance to win as well if you've got any additional questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and good luck